Howdy, I'm Alfredo, and today we're at the back of the awesome shit store. Usually I do these videos on Thursday, I call them Tech Thursdays, but I'm about to leave on a road trip, so I thought it'd be fitting to actually show this in real time, which today is Sunday, June 23rd. Actually, it'll probably drop within the next few hours. So people are literally off-roading in our alley because it's literally that full of potholes. So that's a thing. So today's video will be about the Shadow Conspiracy Sessions bag. And not because I'm sponsored by Shadow Conspiracy and not because I own a bike shop, but I legitimately picked this up from the store and have been super impressed ever since I got it. The first time I used it, I went to a three or four day trip to Ensenada in Mexico. I literally put my whole life in here. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys what I have in this current setup, which is not like a genuine travel setup because I just did this for the video, but it'll give you a good example as to what you can fit. So the first thing is that it's an actual pretty elongated backpack. It's like tall and it's like not square looking, it's more rectangular, so it fits more things stacked up. And it kind of has like a lot of cool little entryways in order to get all your stuff. So the first one you'll notice is the front pocket and it has like a very strong Velcro. It's actually really hard to rip open the first few times when it's brand new. But in here, as you can see, I keep some awesome shit socks available at awesomeshit.com. Some Shadow Conspiracy insoles that I haven't cut out yet, but I will. And my shin guards. And these ones I have been using. And the cool thing about this compartment is that if you do use your pads or your insoles or anything that you put in there or your sneaky socks, then it's actual separation from your, the rest of your bag. It's got the mesh so you can pull your stuff. If you want to drop some dirty underwear after a long night out with the girls, you can. Very convenient there. And again, you can strap it back up via the Velcro and it has two zippers. But the other thing about that front pocket is that if you're trying to cram a bunch of stuff in the center pocket, then you can kind of just leave it open and it allows for expansion. So that's kind of like the feature of the elongated format that it allows for it to kind of like bulk up if you don't go all the way tall. The next pocket, and for me, one of the most convenient ones is the front camera pocket. And this, I guess you could put different things, but I actually put my GoPro with the chest mount. So more pads just kind of keep the things from clanking around in there. My Sony a7S II, which is the video camera that I use to film the majority of my vlogs. And then I have an auxiliary Sony RX100 Mark V, which is pretty good for like, as I mentioned before on my channel, when you're going to like events like Coachella or EDC or something, and they don't let you bring your professional cameras in, then you bring these ones, which are just as good, but very small. You just can't switch the lenses. This pocket, very convenient and it's got the rigidity to kind of like help support anything that goes in there. It's not gonna get crushed necessarily. And it's also padded so that your camera doesn't get ruined. Next up, the main pocket. And the cool thing about the front pocket or the main pocket is that the zipper actually wraps around it and it creates a cool little like compartmentalization. That word probably would normally take me a bunch of tries, but today it came out first try. So as you can see, I got my shoes in here. These are the shoes that I used to ride in. These are Nike SB Dunks. My homie Dom DeLuca from Brooklyn Project took me up with these and he mentioned something about them being orange tag. I'm not really a shoe or sneaker head, so I don't really know what that means, but apparently they're cool collectors, I guess, I don't know. Very good for riding. They're mid tops and they have like a little straps to help protect your ankles. I have terrible toe whip ankle, which means that your bone protrudes. And these bad boys keep that bone from hitting my cranks. I got a nice awesome shit shirt, the Boracho one, available now on shit.com. Same thing with this really hot purple sweater that we got. It's been selling like crazy, so if you haven't got one, hit on some shit.com and get one. So you can see, a lot of stuff really does fit in there because these dunks are not that small. And if you put them, obviously, when you're traveling, you want to make things tighter, so you put your shoe one on top of the other in this manner, it'll fit in there a lot nicer. But when you have them in there, if you don't have shoes, you can have pants, shorts, some underwear maybe. I did that on my trip. I wish I would have filmed it then because it was actually filled to the brim. And lastly, on this big pocket, it does have space for your laptop. And uh, let me give you guys some fun facts because if you hit the Shadow Conspiracy website, it's full of all of the details for this bag, which I am now pulling up. So again, it's a session bag. Retails for $84.99. You can buy it both here at our Awesome Shit store, or you can buy it online at awesomeshit.com, or you can get it from Shadow Conspiracy directly at theshadowconspiracy.com. Again, it retails for $84.99, shipped from all three of these locations. Actually, if you come get it here, you don't need to get it shipped. Let me give you guys some other things that it has. Uh, it's water repellent. There's a quick access front pocket that I mentioned. It's a 16 inch padded laptop inner pocket. My laptop is 15 inches. The original MacBook Pros used to be 17 inches, so that probably wouldn't have worked, but the 16 fits for the 15 and under, so like MacBook Airs. For any of your Adele laptops, 
Adele, get it? Also on the side, I forgot to mention, it has a U-lock holder. So essentially it's a loop with some Velcro in the middle. And it'll keep your Sabrosa U-lock from wiggling around. So that's nice. Also has a side compartment, so if you want to put tripods or other things there. In my other side compartment, I actually put the beautifully done coffin. It's like the inner piece that comes out of the bag that you put your tools in. It has a spot to like strap it up to like the fence. If you're gonna be working on your bike, you can just, you know, put that on yonder, strap it up. I guess you could do it up here somewhere, whatever. Anyways, I got the best tool in BMX. Dun, 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 dun. The shadow tool, legitimately the best one. Has everything you need, chain breaker. It's got 17, got six. It's got two tire levers. It has uh, all the Allen keys you need, a bottle opener, and it's the best weapon. So if anybody comes at me, this is getting flung at you. So be aware. And again, Shadow does a very good job of keeping everything really dope, really classy, and in the Shadow coffin shape, which is my favorite. So you got that. See, I keep it real. I'm using my phone. Usually you can memorize all this stuff, but for the simplicity of time, it doesn't even matter to you because you're hearing it all from my mouth. Anyways, it's got a removable waist strap for when your bag is heavy. Uh, the size is 22 by 12 by 8 inches or 56 by 31 by 20 centimeters, in case you're in Europe. And the weight that I can withhold is about 25.2 pounds, which makes that a beautiful carry-on because anything over you know, 30, 40 pounds really sucks on your back. And anything over 50 pounds, you can't get on the airline. So it's 25 pounds, beautiful. Well, now that you see the whole mess unfolded out here outside of my bag, I guess I can show you guys how I pack it up. Again, I try to keep my shoes when I first open the bag, they're at the top, but usually I keep these at the bottom. So you want at least one of the shoes facing the bottom of the bag. That way your gunky feet don't ruin your clothes. And the other one, that's the one you got to deal with. But if you get some paper towels, you can kind of put it there. I don't care. So I'm going to put my sweater in here right now. And then I'll put my shirt. And then throw the flap on over. And again, zip it. Down, down, down. Also, now that I am zipping up the bag, I notice there's another pocket at the very top. And that's the one I usually keep my cell phone, my AirPods, my little like Supreme Merc that I use. Keep that on the very top. It's convenient when you're flying and you need your headphones or anything like that. Usually keeping it at the top is the very best because when your bag is laying down, you kind of like reach over, pull it on out. And you don't have to pull the whole bag. You just get whatever you need. Okay, so now that the front compartment's all locked up. Now the next one, my Shadow Invisalign Shin Guards. My awesome shit socks my shadow insoles that I'm gonna use this trip, I promise. And I guess you can put the tool there as well. Again, it comes with a coffin bag, so you can just wrap it up so it doesn't ding up everything inside your bag. Place it over here in any manner, I suppose. And then zip up the side compartment, like so. Another really cool thing is that all of the zippers come with like a nice little plastic with a loop on it, so it loops around your finger really nicely, so it's easy to pull on things and not tear your fingers apart. Okay, so as you can see that's there. We got the U-lock there. I dropped some shin guards, or I dropped my knee pads. Again, knee pads I'm gonna put at the very bottom of the bag. Then I'm gonna put my camera. And then I'm gonna put some more knee pads and like ankle guards. I'm old, everything hurts. So sorry if I'm wearing too much protection. You don't even notice it. I don't do it very often, but when I do, you won't even notice it. I'm gonna put my GoPro in there. And lastly, my RX100. Probably want to put these cameras kind of like away from the top part. You kind of want to keep like some of the other things that you use to pad it just to be safe. You know? And that's all she wrote. Check it out. Very sleek, very fashionable, all black as your boy usually does. Again, you can strap it up here at the very top. So these straps are actually on a cool little like tether system where they'll like be able to move up and down. Another really nice touch. Thank you, Shadow, for that, which allows you to put it in the placement where you need for your height weight whatever it is right in front of your chain usually hangs then I'll have the bottom strap right around my waist strap that up and you're ready to go man everything's in there again 84.99 you can get it here at awesome shit awesome shit.com or at the shadow conspiracy shout out to Sabrosa as well for the combat lock shout out to Sparky in general for all they do for BMX for awesome shit for the come up for myself and for you guys so uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like comment, subscribe if you haven't done so, and if you really want, share the video because I'd appreciate it. Anyways, I gotta go on this road trip. Very top secret stuff. More to come soon. I'm out. Later.